Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up transactional replication in SQL Server 2016. During the demo, we'll be taking a look at the security best practices while we're configuring uh, transactional replication in SQL Server 2016. We'll also be using uh, Replication Monitor to take a look on the status of our current transactional replication, or if we face any issue, we can also uh, use Replication Monitor to see what kind of issue we have. Uh, in this demo, I got uh, three set of servers. One is uh, my publisher, SQL Prod 1, and uh, I'm using SQL Server separate instance for distributor. GBS Prod is in my case, uh, but uh, you have an option to use uh, your uh, publisher as its own distributor. That way you don't have to use a SQL Server, um, a separate SQL Server instance for your um, uh, distributor. SQL Server Prod 2 is my subscriber, so we'll be publishing uh, database from publisher and distributor will be distributing to my subscriber. In my case, it will be SQL Server Prod 2. So let's go in my setup and uh, start setting up a transactional replication in SQL Server 2016. Here's my SQL Prod 1. That's going to be publisher, TBS Prod. This is going to be distributor and uh, SQL Prod 2 is going to be my subscriber. So let's open the replication. And uh, if we wanted to create local publication, this is my publisher. So I'll be creating my local publication by right clicking and click on new publication. Click next. And now this is what I was talking about that if uh, you don't have a separate SQL server as your distributor, you can use SQL prod one uh, will act as its own distributor. This will create a distribution database on your local server and will act as uh, uh, the distributor. But in my case, I have a separate SQL Server, TBS Prod, that is going to be my distributor. So I'm going to click on that and click on Add. In my case, it's uh, TBS Prod. So I'll click that and click Connect. And we ran into an error saying SQL Prod 1 is not enabled as a publisher at the distributor. That's OK. We'll click OK and let's take care of this error first. So I'll go to my distributor and right click on the replication click on distributor properties and click on publishers any publisher that is going to use uh, this server as a distributor that needs to be in the list as you can see the SQL prod one is not in the list so we'll be adding that server into the list SQL prod one this is going to be my publisher this is saying that it needs to be password protected. Keep in mind that uh, this password you need when you use, uh, when you set up your publication uh, to connect to TBS uh, prod. So click OK, make sure that you remember this password. I'll confirm the password now. And click OK. Now TBS uh, uh, SQL prod one is added into my distributor, which is a separate SQL Server instance, TBS prod. So let's go back to our um, new publication wizard and click add and TBS prod is my distributor. Let's click on connect and see if we can connect now. And as you can see that uh, we connected with our distributor without an error, click next and provide the password as I talked about. Click next and select the database that you wanted to publish. In my case, it's DWQ. Click next. In this demo, we're uh, selecting transactional publication since uh, this is transactional replication. So click select that and click next. And now you need to select articles, uh, tables, or other objects of the database that you wanted to replicate. In my case, I want to replicate test rep this is uh, just the replication test this is what I want to uh, replicate to my subscriber so I'm gonna select just only one database just this is just the demo so I'm just selecting one table click next and if you wanted to add the filter um, on the row you can write a query and uh, just uh, click on add and and write your query right here click next and I'll create a snapshot immediately and keep the transaction available to initialize subscription. You can schedule it later, but I'm gonna do it for this demo purposes. I'm gonna click on this and click next. 
Now let's take a moment uh, um, about the agent security. So if you take a look on Snapshot agent, what Snapshot does is basically collect all the information um, on of your uh, database uh, objects, articles, um, and synchronization status. So what, what this uh, agent does is collect that information, create your snapshot, and put it put that snapshot into a snapshot folder. In my case, that snapshot folder is going to be on TBS prod because I'm using that as my distributor. So this distributor, if you, if you select your uh, snapshot uh, folder, uh, your local SQL, in my case, SQL pod one, your local server, uh, TBS prod needs to have an access to read that snapshot. But, um, in this case, snapshot agent needs to have a uh, right access onto TBS prod. That's where the location of the snapshot will be. So, um, you need to understand the security as far as a uh, snapshot agent goes. Um, I'm going to click on security setting and I'm going to show you that you should, it's, it's just my recommendation, you should have a separate replication account and use that account uh, all over your um, uh, enterprise. But uh, if you are using your SQL Server agent, uh, let's say that you have five servers in your organization, every time you install in um, production, you have a separate SQL Server agent um, in all, same account in all those five servers, or at least the one that are included in this um, uh, setup, uh, included in replication. If that's the same agent, then that agent has all the permissions, so you can select a run under SQL Server agent account. But uh, I would recommend that you should have a separate account, and that account needs to have permission to write onto um, the snapshot folder, and uh, also uh, should should be able to read all the uh, information about your database, about your articles, uh, about synchronization status, and all that. So these are the basically things that uh, this account needs to know. So um, it depends that what what kind of a um, you know environment that you have that how strict it is. But uh, usually, what I would recommend that if you have a separate uh, replication uh, account, uh, this is Windows account. And uh, you can make that account as admin on the servers that's involved in your replication and also sysadmin on the SQL Server side. Uh, since it's a Windows account, it's secure, you can use that account. In my case, I do have that account. So I'll be using that for um, my snapshot agent security and also my distributed agent, uh, distribution agent uh, security. You do need to know the password, even though it's a Windows account, but it's using, it's being used for your application. So you need to get the password from your uh, system administrator. Click OK. And this is the log reader agent. Since uh, we're setting up a um, transactional log, I'm sorry, a transactional replication, uh, this agent gets created for each database. So each database that you add in transactional log replication, it will have a separate log reader agent. So I'm gonna use that, click next, create publication. If you wanna generate script for your backup, you can do it now. Uh, or if you wanted to just generate the backup, uh, uh, generate the script and use that as a uh, later on that you want to run, you can unselect this and select this. That'll do the trick. So I want to select create the publication for this demo. Click next and name your publication. And click finish. This will create our publication and then we'll add our subscription to it. All right, we're gonna close this. And right now our publication is created, but we don't have any subscription. So we're gonna right click on this and click on new subscription. Click next. And this is our publisher, SQL Prod 1. And this is the database that we uh, created the publication on. And this is what we want to distribute to our subscribers. So click next. In my case, I have a separate distributor. As you can see, it, that's why it shows that TBS prod is um, 
a separate um, distributor and I want to run all the distribution agent on my distributor but you have an option this is just for one type of uh, uh, subscription this is push subscription means that this will uh, upload the data to to all the subscriber if you want it uh, uh, subscriber if you wanted to do the pull subscription which means that uh, your subscriber will download the data from your uh, uh, distribu uh, distributor then you can click on run each agent at a subscriber so each um, subscriber that you will add it will go to your distributor and download those changes but uh, I usually use the push subscription uh, and have one account of permission to all the subscriber to go ahead and and uh, write that those changes um, you know into the subscriber database so click next and we will add the subscribers in my case I have only one subscriber so I'm gonna select uh, SQL prod 2 click connect and you can select the database that where you want to replicate your those two tables to. In my case, it's DWQ, that is fine. Click Next. And this is the security of distribution agent. Keep in mind, this um, distribution agent is going to go in all subscriber and update those uh, changes. So make sure that uh, this account, whatever the account that you use, it has a connection to the distributor and connection to the subscriber. After the connection, you need to give uh, right permission uh, to this account uh, to write it in subscriber databases especially the database that you just selected so I do have that account so I'm gonna use that and click OK next run continuously um, you have an option to schedule it on uh, SQL Server agent run on demand, but I'm gonna for this demo purposes. I'm gonna run it continuously Click next and This is the initialize uh, subscription Do you want to initialize right now immediately or you want to do it later? You have an option, but I'm gonna do it immediately click next Create the subscription now, or you can generate the script and apply it later, or you can do both and keep the script as your backup. Click Next and click Finish. All right, everything went successful. Let's, let's close this and open this, and let's take a look on uh, our publication and view the snapshot agent status. It's 100% one article as you can see the snapshot is created with one table so that is good click close and we will take a look on the log reader agent status no replication transaction are available as soon as some changes happen this log reader will uh, take care of that it will read what changes happen and move it to distributor uh, distribution database on the distributor and distributor will distribute to your subscriber click close and here's uh, my subscriber let's see um, as you can see that um, I haven't refreshed the tables those tables were not here uh, that table that I added was not here so let's right click and refresh as you can see dbo.test replication is here we will go back um, and add another table Right click on the publication, go to the properties and click on articles. So whatever the table that um, meets the requirement of your uh, the, of, of the replication that, that it can be added into replication, you can select that here. So this table right here, the red sign you're seeing, uh, this does not meet the requirement of the replication, which is uh, at least uh, this table should have a primary key. So I'm gonna click on here, message queue. This meets the requirement uh, and add that table and see if the replication is working. But keep in mind, we're adding articles, so we need to create a new snapshot. So click OK. And 
and we'll go back to view the snapshot agent status as you can see that first time when it ran a snapshot of one article was gen generated so we're gonna start again and we will create another snapshot and see if that goes through click start and this should uh, once it's completed it should show that it's uh, for two articles and we will click on monitor to monitor the to open replication monitor and you can expand that and look at different information about your publication and about your subscription there it is and a snapshot of two articles was generated so the two article snapshot this was a new snapshot we just added an article but uh, usually if you don't have to add an article but just uh, the data changes happen then uh, it'll it'll actually just a log reader will take care of that so let's close that this shows that uh, it also shows the performance you can use the replication monitor to see the performance if your network is slow or if your source or destination is slow it'll show uh, this symbol right here I'm gonna close this real quick and um, go to my subscriber and see if that table is here I'm gonna refresh the tables all right as you can see that these both tables are here the message queue and the test rep now I'm gonna make uh, let's let's select the right now select the records on this table so right now it has only one record that's our subscriber so what we want we want to add another record in the same table and see if it goes through just to see that if our transactional replication is working fine so I'm gonna go in the database open the database in the table just add one more record I'm gonna add two and this is Amir and last name is I'm gonna close this and save it and let's take a look if we have that all right we have two records let's take a look uh, if we got those records to on our uh, subscribers all right as you can see that uh, on our subscriber this uh, record has come through so our replication is working fine this is transactional replication so as soon as you make um, um, updates on your pub, uh, publisher it'll appear on your subscriber and I hope this video helps